ultra facts. Today we are not only going to talk about some of the strange and not so great effects that running can have on your body but also how to counter them. Run your face off. Runner's face is a common term used to describe the sunken cheeks and gaunt appearance that many runners get when they run a lot. This is more prominent in runners over 30. Some attribute this to a low-fat diet that most of these runners have, while others blame gravity. Not to forget that sun exposure speeds up the aging process by damaging the elastin and reducing collagen in your skin. So a healthy balanced diet, good old H2O, sunscreen and hats could work to prevent this. Runner's knee Even though it's called runner's knee, this condition is not limited to just runners. However, it is very common because of the impact that the knee endures, the sheer mileage it gets and even potentially bad form. Ways to deal with the pain associated with this and to prevent further damage, you could do a number of things, starting with icing and resting your knee, wrapping it for some extra support, elevating your knee, take some anti-inflammatory medicine, stretching and wearing proper shoes could help as well. If the pain persists, please go to see a doctor. Lutus medius tendinosis. No, I wasn't talking about a Roman gladiator. I was referring to the dead butt syndrome. This painful condition is even referred to as treadmill ass or runner's bum. Why does this happen? Because while in running, a lot of the muscles get a great workout, some other muscles get neglected, like the glutes. That is why it is super important to work out your glutes. Try to add different types of exercises into the mix like strength training, weight and swimming to name a few. Bathroom problems This isn't the sexiest of topics but anyone who runs has probably faced the dire need to go to the bathroom during a run. This could be an overactive bladder or a gastrointestinal tract problem. Working out in general stimulates our GI tracts. Running long distances of course can amp up this effect. Ways to prevent this? Making sure you have enough fiber in your diet, enough water, warm drinks as well, and having easy to digest food before runs. Runny nose. Runny noses are very common during running. This could be exercise or allergy induced. In addition to allergies, air pollution, changes in weather, alcohol, spicy food, and stress can cause this too. While it is annoying, it isn't exactly a serious problem unless you have some other respiratory conditions like asthma. Using allergy medicines, nasal sprays and inhalers can help. That's all the time we have for today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all the other videos we have there for you. Till then, 